All right, welcome back. Tracking some rain this morning. We've had a lot of rain overnight. The rain has been getting lighter and starting to dissipate in areas that had the heavier rain north of M59, but areas south of M59, really uh, south of I-96 and 696, where it's been drier through the last several hours. Rain is uh, starting to head your direction. So rain moving in still from the west to the east, but areas that have been drenched overnight. Fortunately, the rain is getting a little lighter, but plan for wet roads. Take an umbrella with you. We had over an inch of rain uh, since last night. This is uh, these numbers are just since midnight. 0.92 inches in Lapeer, uh, just over a half inch of rain in Pontiac just since midnight. There were about another half inch of rain before midnight in those areas. Temperatures today are going to tap out in the low to mid 50s. We'll be a little bit cooler north of Detroit and just a little bit warmer, I think, south of Detroit, closer to Ohio. But uh, the wind is going to be out of the east and northeast today. So with that northeasterly wind component coming off the lakes, that's going to keep us uh, a little bit cooler, I think, uh, over over the uh, the course of this afternoon. A lot of clouds and a chillier day today. Flood watch lasts still till 8 a.m. Some of the flood watches over western Michigan have been dropped, uh, but these flood watches do continue still for the next 45 minutes or so, even though the rain is, is winding down, so I don't expect any big issues from that. Severe threat stays west of us today, but tomorrow we're uh, under the, an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms, so that's a scale three out of five. There might be a few pockets parts of lower Michigan that does get upgraded even to a moderate risk tomorrow. So tomorrow we get a chance of a couple of thunderstorms overnight from about midnight to 5 a.m. One or two of those may be strong, but if we get a line of storms forming tomorrow midday. The greatest threat of severe weather will be between noon and 4 p.m. And then still some lingering showers and possibly a thunderstorm all the way until 8 p.m. But the window with I think the greatest opportunity of, of seeing stronger or severe thunderstorms will be around that noon to early afternoon time frame through about 4 p.m. Damaging wind gusts will be the largest threat. There could also be large hail. A tornado also will be possible as some of these storms likely have some rotation to them. So that's what we're going to be focusing in on tomorrow. Make sure you have a plan ready to go today. Make sure you and your family know where to go in case there is a severe thunderstorm or a tornado warning. Make sure your devices are also charged up tomorrow morning, tonight and tomorrow morning in case there are some power outages. 73, the high temperature tomorrow. It's going to be windy and warm. Cold front moves through close to sunset and then temperatures drop Thursday. And uh, then we're going to have a brighter day Thursday. The rest of the week looks great. It's going to be cooler outside, but the sun's going to be out. Looks like a stretch of dry weather Thursday through Easter Sunday, and it gradually gets warmer through the weekend. So 57 the high Saturday, 66 degrees Sunday, still in the 60s Monday, but with a returning chance of rain.